What if one day you woke up and someone you knew was simply gone, vanished without a trace? This isn't just the stuff of thriller novels or Hollywood blockbusters. It's a reality that has perplexed, intrigued and frightened us for centuries. The unexplained disappearance of an individual can send shockwaves through communities and families. But what happens when those who vanished inexplicably reappear years, sometimes decades later? It's a phenomenon that's as fascinating as it is unsettling. Consider the case of the Sodder children, who disappeared from their home on Christmas Eve in 1945. Their parents woke up to find their house on fire, but five of their ten children were nowhere to be found. Despite an extensive investigation, the children were never located and were presumed dead. Yet their parents believed they were still alive, leading to one of the most enduring mysteries in American history. Then there's the enigma of Benjamin Kyle, a man who woke up outside a fast food restaurant in 2004 with no memory of who he was or how he got there. Despite the best efforts of the authorities and medical professionals, his identity remained a mystery for over a decade. And let's not forget about Gabriel Nagy, who vanished from his home in Australia in 87, only to resurface 23 years later with no recollection of where he'd been during his absence. These stories, while extraordinary, are not singular. There are countless instances of people disappearing seemingly off the face of the earth only to reappear years later with tales that often defy logic and understanding. So what drives these mysterious disappearances and why do some individuals resurface after years while others remain missing? Is it amnesia, a desire for a fresh start or something more sinister at play? These are some of the questions we'll be exploring as we delve deeper into the perplexing world of mysterious disappearances and reappearances. It's a journey that will take us to the furthest reaches of human understanding and beyond. Now let's delve into these baffling cases of disappearance and reappearance. In 1945, on a cold Christmas Eve, the Sodder family faced a tragedy that would haunt them for decades. The Sodder family, settled in West Virginia, were enjoying their Christmas Eve until a fire broke out in their home. The parents and four of their nine children managed to escape the flames, but the other five were nowhere to be found. The parents, George and Jenny Sodder, frantically searched for their children, but the fire was too intense and the house was soon reduced to ashes. The morning after the fire, no remains of the five missing children were found. This was peculiar, as one would expect to find some evidence of human remains after such a devastating fire. The fire department concluded the fire was caused by faulty wiring, but the Sodders suspected foul play. George Sodder, originally from Italy, had been involved in heated discussions about Mussolini and fascism with other members of the Italian immigrant community, leading the family to speculate a possible kidnapping and cover-up. The mystery deepened in 1968, when the Sodder family received an anonymous letter containing a photograph of a young man resembling Louis, one of the missing children who would have been in his 30s at the time. On the back of the photo, a cryptic message read, Louis Sodder, I love brother Frankie, Elil boys, a 90,132 or 35. This fueled speculation that the children may have been abducted and were possibly still alive. Despite hiring private investigators and making numerous appeals, the Sorder family never found any concrete evidence about what happened to their children. Theories abound, from the children being sold into child trafficking to them being abducted by the Italian Mafia due to George Sodder's outspoken views. The Sodder family held on to hope until their last days, with the surviving members continuing the search even today. The case of the Sodder children is a haunting tale of loss, hope and mystery. Their fate remains one of the most perplexing unsolved mysteries of the 20th century. Imagine waking up with no memory of who you are or where you're from. This was the reality for a man known only as Benjamin Kyle. In the early morning hours of August 31, 2004, a man was found unconscious behind a fast food restaurant in Richmond Hill, Georgia. He had no identification, no memory and no past. The only clues to his identity were the clothes on his back and a few scattered memories that would flicker in and out of his consciousness like distant stars. This mysterious individual was given the name Benjamin Kyle, derived from the initials BK found on a sweatshirt he was wearing. For the next decade, Benjamin would live in a state of limbo, caught between a past he couldn't remember and a future he couldn't envision. 
His case attracted the attention of the media, the public and various experts, all attempting to unlock the secrets of his forgotten past. Despite numerous efforts, including hypnosis and countless examinations by neurologists, the veil of amnesia remained firmly in place. In a bizarre twist of fate, it was a genealogy researcher who finally cracked the enigma of Benjamin Kyle. In 2015, nearly 11 years after he was found, a dedicated genealogist traced his roots back to Indiana, revealing his real name and reconnecting him with long-lost family members. But the mystery didn't quite end there. Even with his identity restored, Benjamin couldn't recall the events leading up to his amnesia. What happened on that fateful day in 2004? Why was he in Georgia, thousands of miles from his home in Indiana? These questions remain unanswered, adding another layer of intrigue to the enigma of Benjamin Kyle. Benjamin's story is a chilling reminder of how fragile our identities can be. Our sense of self, our memories, and our connections to others are what ground us in reality. When these are stripped away, we're left adrift, searching for a past that feels just out of reach. But Benjamin's tale also speaks to the power of perseverance and the human capacity for resilience in the face of insurmountable odds. One day in 1987, Gabriel Naji called his wife to say he was on his way home for lunch, but he never arrived. What was supposed to be an ordinary day turned into a decades-long mystery that left a family in limbo. Gabriel Naji, a loving father and husband, simply vanished without a trace. His car was found burned out on the side of a remote road, but there was no sign of Gabriel. His bank account remained untouched, and his personal belongings were left behind. As days turned into weeks, then months, then years, the hope of finding him alive began to fade. His wife and children were left to grapple with the pain of his unexplained absence, a wound that time did little to heal. Then, 23 years later, a glimmer of hope emerged. A man with no memory of his past, living on the streets, was admitted to a hospital. He had been surviving as a homeless man, living off the kindness of strangers and the little he could scrounge from the streets. He didn't know his own name, let alone the life he had left behind. But a routine check through the missing person's database revealed the unimaginable. The homeless man was Gabriel Niji. But how did he end up homeless and without memory of his past life? Medical professionals speculated that Gabriel may have suffered from a severe form of amnesia, possibly triggered by a traumatic event. The details of what happened to him after his disappearance remain a mystery. Gabriel's return brought a whirlwind of emotions for his family. There was joy, of course, but also heartache. They had to grapple with the reality of a man who looked like Gabriel, sounded like Gabriel, but didn't remember being Gabriel. But despite the confusion and the pain, one thing was clear. Gabriel Naji was home. He was given a second chance at life, a chance to rebuild, to reconnect, to remember. Gabriel's return brought both joy and heartache to his family who had long given up hope. These stories are a testament to the enduring mystery of human disappearance and the astonishing revelations that can come years later. In our exploration of these baffling cases, we've delved into the enigmatic circumstances surrounding the Sodder children's disappearance, a Christmas Eve mystery that still captivates to this day. The fire, the missing bodies, the strange sightings, it's a tapestry of intrigue that keeps us questioning, yearning for answers. Next, we delved into the peculiar case of Benjamin Kyle, a man who woke up behind a fast food restaurant with no memory of his past. His journey to reclaim his identity was a testament to human resilience, a narrative that underscored the importance of identity in our lives. It's a story that reminds us that sometimes the person we need to find most is ourselves. Then we recounted the incredible return of Gabriel Naji, who vanished without a trace only to reappear 23 years later. His story is a beacon of hope for those still searching for their missing loved ones a testament to the power of time and the enduring bond of family love. Each of these stories carries its unique blend of mystery and emotion. They remind us that behind every missing person case, there's a family grappling with the unknown, holding on to hope and yearning for closure. They show us that sometimes the answers we seek don't come in a day, a month, or even a year. They take time, and often they arrive in the most unexpected ways. These tales of disappearance and re-emergence continue to captivate us, not merely for their mysterious circumstances, but also for their deeply human elements. They serve as powerful reminders of our shared humanity, our inherent need for connection, 
and the indomitable spirit that keeps us searching, hoping and persevering. Remember, life is full of mysteries and sometimes the answers only come with time.